All right, as we last left off in Photoshop, you guys saw me taking you guys through steps of converting LL Cool J into thresholds to create our Obey poster. So now what I'm going to do is, now that I'm in Illustrator, I'm going to take all those thresholds and drop them into Illustrator. As you see, I have my colors right here on the side. They're all right here. I have a reference image that I use so I can see where I'm going to have to come back and do a little detail cut so we can tell what it is. So I'm going to lock this layer. This is going to be the template that I give my class going forward. Uh, so I'm going to create a new layer because what we need to do now is go to File, Place, and now we need to place our items. So let me go to my folder. I suggest putting everything in folders so that you know exactly where you're going. So I'm going to get my pattern guide. I'm going to hit Place. I'm going to hit OK. We're going to do this three more times. I'm going to create a new layer. I'm going to go to File. We'll go to place, go back to my folder, bring my light blue, place, hit OK, one more time, file, place, go to my folder, and pick my red guide, because that's following. And the last guide that will be, last guide we place in will be our dark blue guide. It's in reverse the way it works, but it works. So file, place, find my folder, Go to my dark blue guide and hit place. Hit OK. So, cool thing about what we did is that it placed all the images in the right place. I don't have to do anything extra. So, I'm going to click and drag to select all my images. I'm going to go up to the top right here and I'm going to click Live Trace. It's going to take a little minute because it's processing all four images, but when it's done, we'll have it all rasterized to anchor points. So, there we go. So, now I'm going to press expand so I can activate those anchor points and we see everything. So next step is click off to the side anywhere, it doesn't really matter. Press the letter Y. The letter Y activates your magic wand. So I'll go and see huh, magic wand. Now I'm going to click. And the cool thing about the magic wand is that it selects everything white because I want to delete everything that is white. So I'm going to hit delete. So now that it's all gone. Now it's like, well, it's a big giant black mess. So I'm going to just go lightly and uh, start locking my layers. I'm going to hit the letter V to activate my move tool. I can click right here. I'm going to click the layer that I need. First layer is going to be our pattern, guys. So I'm going to press the letter I, which, if you look at your toolbar, activates the eyedropper. I'm going to click on my pattern right here. It's okay, you can't see it yet. I'm going to lock that layer. You're like, well, Lario said ha nothing happened. So I'm going to unlock my next layer, hit my move tool to activate that layer. Move tool is the letter V. I'm going to hit I for my eyedropper. I'm going to put in that light blue. So now you start seeing a little something. I'm going to lock that layer. Turn on layer number four. Use my move tool, letter V, click on that, press I for the eyedropper, get my red. So now I start seeing a little bit more, lock that layer, come back in, press the letter V for the move tool, click my layer, press the I for the eyedropper, and I'm going to click my color. So to a general idea, you're like, oh, well, I'm pretty done. Now, if we compare this image to our actual picture, you're going to see that we're going to have to come in here and do a little editing to create the actual suit no big deal so I'm gonna lock that layer what I want to do now is set up the next part go down to right to the bottom where I says where I put my layer for my colors I'm gonna hit new press the letter M because it activates my rectangular marquee and I'm going to go in here and drop this color but not the dark blue I'm gonna press I and pick this cream color and then I'm gonna press the letter M again and kind of guesstimate this one, kind of find the halfway point, see the green guides showing up, your smart guides, use those as much as possible. Press the letter I, make this this light teal looking color. Press V, hold option and drag it over. So about there, I'm going to press the letter I to, so, to sample the red. No big deal. Now what I do want to do is kind of adjust them so that they're centered. So if I press the letter R, it activates my ruler so I can move it around a little bit better. It is 8.5 by 11, so we should get somewhere pretty close. And these will line me up right there. So next step is I'm going to hit Shift E. Because in reality, the only two places we want this teal and red are behind the actual picture. So Increase my brush size by pressing the brackets next to the letter P. And I'm going to erase the inside of LL Cool J. 
because that part is going to be that khaki color that's behind us or that cream color however you want to look at it or say it even though right now it doesn't look like it because I'm still holding down the mouse but bam now I'm going to select the red square and I'm going to do the exact same thing press shift E and come through and erase all the red um, you might come into the, the idea well there's still red on there Larios that's because we have a layer of red in there so it's okay don't freak out and if you want it to be precise you can go all the way around but it doesn't really matter because no one will see that once we're done so now I'm going to press the letter M again hit the eyedropper so I can sample this color but press oops command Z it happens mistakes happen so don't worry about it. I'm press the letter M I'm going to create a square right about here and you know what I'm going to do I'm actually going to press my move tool I'm going to hit a command X to cut that square I'll create a new layer and move it to the very very top I'm going to press the letter V and I'll just move that square back to the bottom and this square is supposed to be this dark blue color so I'm going to press I so I can get that color we lose some in translation. I'm going to hit the letter T to activate my type tool. I'm going to type out L, L cool J. Can't see anything, so I'm going to go here and increase the font size. But you still can't see anything. And I also want to change the font size so it's something similar to what Shepard Fairey uses. So I'm going to go with an Arial Black. I try to center that. I'm going to hold Option Shift, click right this corner, and I'm going to drag. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit more. Obviously, black on dark blue doesn't read very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press the letter I and sample this color. And that gives us kind of the general idea of how to do a Shepard Fairey poster. But like I said, you have your reference image over here. So you can go into any one of these layers. And of course, unlock them as you go to work on them. And then you can cut out the areas you need. So you can see there's a little red in there. So you might go into the dark blue use your pen tool, create a shape, use the pathfinder to cut it out, press shift E to get the eraser and kind of give yourself that sweet little trim. The only thing about that is you know you want to make sure this has clean lines because it's stenciled idea so you really do want to make sure that you kind of come in with one of these tools and make sure they're nice and crisp so you can tell well the guy's wearing a suit don't worry about the color, it's okay. I'm gonna hit V for my move tool. I'm gonna hold shift to select the both layers, go into my pathfinder, I'm gonna do a trim, so I'm gonna click right here. I'm gonna hold down control and I'm gonna click and I'm gonna ungroup. I'm gonna click off to the side, come back to this little dash right there and cut it out. So now you can see the red underneath. Um, we could do it again to create the rest of the suit. We would want to kind of do it so that we can tell that he is wearing a suit. So you know this right here at this point it's pretty much your own personal preference what you do now to make your project look as realistic as possible so I'm gonna leave you with that guys you guys uh, continue on if you have any questions don't hesitate to ask